Hello. How's everybody doing today? We're just going to wait a few minutes here. All right, so how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm going to just <laughs> mention that this is the very first time I've done a Facebook Live where I'm not holding the camera. It's on a tripod, and or not a tripod, it's on a stand, and I'm gonna actually, you can see me now, and then I'm gonna flip it down. So I'm gonna apologize. This It will probably be a little shaky. It's trial and error. I've never done this before, so. Bear with me as I try some new things and um, yeah, just kind of experiment. All right. Um, so my name is Sherry Roth um, with StampTreasures.com and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sherwood Park, Alberta and I've been a demonstrator for, it'll be 14 years in July, so quite a long time and I love my job. So I'm excited to kind of experiment with some different things online and in person and um, just kind of share with you. So I think this is gonna be a fun new way that I can share my love of stamping with you. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, let's see here. I encourage you all, anybody who's watching, to comment, um, let me know you're watching. Um, let's see. Um, let me know where you're from. If you have questions as I'm going through, feel free to post. I will try to keep an eye on the comments. If I miss anything, I will definitely go back and comment afterwards. And I encourage you also to share the video um, with your friends and family and whoever else. Um, I just love to share this craft with you. I think it's amazing. And um, I think lots of other people just haven't been exposed to it, haven't experienced just what Stampin' can offer. So. I am doing a giveaway, so it's a set of handmade cards, and if you comment, you'll get one entry for every comment, and if you share the video, you'll get five entries. So I'll keep track, you have up until Thursday night of next week to um, comment and share the video, and I will have all the entries and then I will draw on my Facebook Live next Friday, all right? Um, and even if you're not watching live, you can still enter. So keep commenting, just continue to comment as you watch it and share the video as well. All right, uh, let's see here. What else do I, did I wanna mention? Uh, the other thing is I have posted on my blog, which is www.stamptreasures.com, the photos of the projects that we're making today, as well as, um, a detailed supply list with clickable links to my online shop. All right, so if you want to find out exactly what, what, what I'm using, then feel free to just visit my blog and all the details are there. And I will also post, I will downlist, download this video. Hey, Shara! I will download this video onto YouTube and post it at the bottom of the blog post as well. All right, so you can watch it again if you want to later on. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and turn the camera down. Hey, Donna, 
<laughs> turn the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. And I apologize, as I turn the camera down, you're gonna probably like get a nice view of my chest. So I apologize <laughs> for that in advance. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. I got a little lesson from one of my events council members on how to do this. So let's hope that this works. Okay, now I'm going to flip it down. And hopefully we are not upside down. I did a couple practice runs. Let's see. My computer is just a bit delayed. So... I want to make sure that everything I need is in the screen. Okay. I think we are good now. Now I just need to figure out how I can see the comments on... Oh, here we go. Oh, no, we don't want sound. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started now. Um, so as you know, June 1st, the new Stampin' Up! catalog came out, and it is full of so many great new things. Um, is there anything that you guys are super excited about? Hey, Susan. Thanks for all your tips for today. I think it's working out great. Um, so what are you guys most excited about? I think for me, well, there's lots of things and it changes as I start using things as well. But what I'm most excited about today is my very first and small order is coming in and on it or in it is the big plans planner kit so I can't wait I've been looking online and kind of getting some ideas on how to um, pimp this up to make it mine so I'm super excited to uh, get started on that so I'm looking forward to that how about you guys what are you guys excited about um, we are going to today we are going to be using the in colors which I you know what to be honest initially I wasn't sure they just seem so bright and I am NOT normally a brights person but they have grown on me and to be honest I love them and this one as bright as it is I think is my favorite um, and it could have something to do with the, the name the pineapple punch I love pineapples so it could have something to do with that but um, I don't know I just I love it and I think also part of it has to do with if you look at the new colors if you see if you look at all of the color collections um, for me this brights really pops for me and I don't know if it's because it's like a rainbow or what it is but I absolutely adore the brights collection and like I said, I've been a demonstrator for 14 years and I have never been a brights person. So I guess things change, right? We kind of grow as crafters and go through different phases. Um, so here are some of the other color collections. So this is last year's in colors. So these will be available for another year. And I liked these right off the bat. The Lemon Lime Twist is my favorite. And then we've got the new neutrals collection. And as you can see, um, we've actually got some colors in with the neutrals, which um, is the first time in a long time that we've had that. We used to have some uh, color family called the Earth Elements. It wasn't really neutrals, but there were lots, all the neutrals were in that color collection. Um, but it's interesting to see like the Mary Merlot, the Mossy Meadow, the Knight of Navy in there. So it's fun to see some color in there as well, which Stampin' Up! picked that up from some of the trends that they're noticing. And I mean, you see navy everywhere, and navy is kind of a new, the new black, right? And then we've got my brights, my favorites. And I am not a purple person, but I can't believe how much I've used this gorgeous grape. Really, really like it. And then we've got our subtles. The soft sea foam is another favorite. And then mint macaron. So excited to see mint macaron come back. 
And then we've got the Regals. So you can see that there's a lot of, if you're familiar with Stampin' Up! Colors, you can see that there's a lot of the brights that are now in the Regals color collection. And I was excited to see Blackberry Bliss come back as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, like I said, we are using lots of in color stuff today. So the in colors, you can find them on page 183 and you can get them in inks, ink refills, cardstock, ribbon, and also DSP and binder clips as well. So we will be using the inks, we'll be using the cardstock, the DSP and the ribbon to create a couple cute little projects. Okay. All right. So let me move this stuff aside. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in my paper cutter and I've got a sheet of eight and a half by 11 um, lovely lipstick cardstock and I'm going to score this and I'm going to score the whole sheet because when I make a card, I usually make two cards. If you're making one, you can get two bases out of, actually I'm going to rotate this way, you can get two card bases out of one sheet. So if you're making one, you might as well make two. One you can use now and then save the other for later. So I'm taking it along the 11 inch side and I'm gonna score it at five and a half inches. And I'm gonna use the light colored blade on here and score. And then I'm gonna rotate it around and put it at the four and a quarter inch mark. I'm gonna move my scoring blade out of the way and then cut at four and a quarter. So now I've got two card bases. So you only have to score once and cut once and that gives you two card bases. All right, now this card opens at the top or I guess if you can use it like this and open at the side. If you wanted it to open more like the traditional way, then what you would do is you would score at four and a quarter and then cut at five and a half. Okay, so that's a little tip on saving a bit of time. I'm gonna use my bone folder, make that nice and crisp. And now I have, okay, I've got two pieces of white here. They both measure four inches by five and a quarter. One will be for the inside of the card and then one will be for the outside. And the stamp set that I'm using today is the Accented Bloom stamp set. This stamp set actually really jumped out at me. Normally I'm not a flower person, but it, it jumped out at me and I think it's for a couple reasons. First of all, it looks great. Um, just stamped on its own, so not necessarily colored in, as well as um, embossed, colored in. Um, th there's just a ton of different techniques that you can do. And I adore this truly tailored tag punch. And because I already owned it, this was a good little addition to my collection. So we are going to use this florally image here. Now you can see that you get this negative space in there, you wanna save that. You don't wanna get rid of that because that in itself is another stamp. Um, so you can use that to create some fun little backgrounds. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm just gonna flip that over, grab my block. So Shara asked, do you save your planners and reuse them? Do you make a new one each year? Um, Shara, I, <laughs> I have several planners and um, I don't reuse them because I get tired of reusing them. So once I use them for a year, I'm ready to move on to something different. So, and I use them for different things as well. So I had, I used last year's Love Today planner kit. I used it for an entire year and I used it more as a memory keeping planner than a, like a list kind of things to do planner. Um, and it ended up being two binders and I have it on in with my scrapbook albums because I included pictures and everything in them. Hey, Wanda. Um, so I use my planners in a lot of um, maybe non-traditional ways, which actually is quite common now. Um, but this year with this new planner, the Big Plans, I think it's called Big Planners Planner Kit, I plan on using it a little bit more like a traditional planner, um, but I'm gonna pimp it up because I like all the extra stuff. I love chunky, chunky planners with extra clips and dividers and 
lots of stuff like that. So, and I will definitely do um, blog posts and probably some videos and maybe even some Facebook lives with my planners as well as I get more and more comfortable with this. Okay, so now back to stamping up my card here. I'm gonna take, bring in my lovely lipstick. So we're doing a monochromatic card. We're gonna stick with one color. Now these are the new ink pads. Um, and I don't have an old one with me to show you the difference, but they sit flatter. They've got these little um, holes in there because at the bottom of each ink pad, there's little feet. So they stack nicely, which our other ones didn't. Um, and they basically open like a compact. So you just flip it up and then lock it into place. And they are stiff until you use them a little bit. The other great thing is they now have a sticker on the bottom that you can include in here. So you know when you had several ink pads open and you weren't sure what color was what, now they've got that indication on there. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my image and you can see that I am just lightly pressing on my ink pad. I don't want to push too hard because this is a fine detailed stamp and I'm going to line it up kind of in the corner here and again I'm not pushing too hard and the reason why is because this line, let me show you on the image here, this line here is very fine. If you push too hard then it kind of changes the shape of it, makes it a little fatter than it should be. So I'm just applying light pressure all the way around and then look at that beautiful image. Isn't that awesome? Love it. All right. Hi Tammy. Just catching up on some comments here. All right. Okay. So now I am going to show you one of another one of my favorite new items. I'm just going to grab some scrap paper here. Okay, so we have got this great new product called the Shammy in the catalog, and this is a stamp cleaner. So to clean my stamp, what I'm going to do is I, I like to stamp off as much as possible, get any of that excess ink off of there. And then this is, it's, it's called a chamois, um, and it's quite thick, and it's wet. I keep it in a uh, clear mount stamp case. And basically, I'm just going to just kind of push my stamp in there and it removes all of the ink beautifully. So that is one of my new favorites. And then you can flip it over when it gets really dirty, you can flip it over, you can rinse it. It says you can wash it. I'm not sure if you can throw it in the washing machine, but I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I had some mats similar to this in the past that were a little thinner. And what I did was I would just soak them in hot water and then wring them out until all the color would come out. You're gonna get staining, you're never gonna get rid of um, some of the, the ink that's in there, but you can clean the excess ink out. Okay, so that is a great new product that I'm excited about. And then, what else do we have? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my adhesive and I'm gonna stick this to the front of the card. And I'm using Fast Fuse, it's no longer available, but um, I have lots of it because I stocked up when it was on sale. And so I'm just gonna continue to use it while I have it and then I will probably go back to using Tombow. Okay, so I've got that in the center. Let's get this out of the way. And then I'm gonna pull in a piece of DSP. So this is the in color six by six DSP pack and I've used some of them so I don't have all of the colors here, but each color comes in two different patterns. So these are the patterns here. Actually, I should say four different patterns. So you get the wider monochromatic stripe and then the thinner um, colored and white stripe and then on the back is polka dots. So there's small polka dots and then larger polka dots. All right, and that comes in each of the five colors. I believe you get four or is it eight sheets of each? It might be eight sheets of each. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut a one inch by four and a quarter inch piece of the DSP. And I'm just gonna add some adhesive and then attach it to the top of my card. All 
like that. And then I'm pulling in the coordinating ribbon. And I'm going to grab my glue dots because glue dots are always the best way to adhere ribbon. And I'm going to pull a glue dot over or off. And I kind of folded it in half a little bit because this ribbon is only an eighth of an inch. So if you use the glue dot full, it's just it sticks out just a little bit. And I'm going to put three glue dots across. One in the center and one on either side. So do you guys have a favorite in color? Hey Dawn. Okay, I'm gonna stick my ribbon across. So I could wrap it around all the, way, all the way around my card and then tie a bow, but by doing it this way, you can serve a little bit of ribbon. I'm pulling out my ribbon scissors and I have, these scissors are only used for ribbon and that makes them cut, allows them to cut ribbon like butter. Um, because I only use them for ribbon, um, they just, they stay sharp and that's what they work for. And it doesn't matter, they're, they're not a special scissor, that just happens to be the scissor that I chose to use as a ribbon scissor. Um, you can use anything, you can even use our paper snips, but have a dedicated pair of scissors for just ribbon and then it will always cut, they will always cut nicely. You know how sometimes you'll take your, your scissors that you usually use on paper and you try to cut and it just frays the ribbon? So by using a pair that's dedicated to ribbon, that will prevent that. All right, so now I've got my bow. I'm gonna take another mini glue dot. Dawn says that she loves the new colors and the chamois is a favorite as well. All right, so I've added that on there. And then what I realized I did, and actually, you know what, I'm, let's just fix that. Never mind. Okay, so I've got another piece of white here, and I'm going to choose my greeting. This time, or this for this one, I'm going to use thank you. And grab my block. Use, again, the lovely lipstick ink ink it up. Now I'm going to stamp it down on some white cardstock and I always like to hold it for like four or five seconds just so that the ink can saturate into that or soak into that cardstock so that you get a nice crisp image. Okay and then I'm going to take my truly tailored, truly my tailored tag punch, I think it's what it's called. And I'm going to punch it out. I should really have a list of the supplies that I'm using so that I know what the names are. But you can always go to my blog and I've got them all listed there. Okay, punch that out. And then I'm gonna use some dimensionals to pop this guy up. down to the bare bones on that sheet. All right, and then we'll stick that on here like that. And then I'll put my insert on the inside. I always like to put a white insert or vanilla, like a neutral insert on the inside of a dark card. And that way if you don't have like a white gel pen or a darker pen where you could see it, Plus it looks nice too. All right, so there we go. Isn't that cute? And it was so simple. And take a look at it in all of these other colors. So there's the lovely lipstick. There's the Grapefruit Grove. There's the Pineapple Punch. And then we've got Call Me Clover and Blueberry Bushel. So you can use any pattern you can see here that I used the, the other pattern. You can even you flip it over and use the stripes as well and it would look just as good. So this is a great, a great way to use the in colors is just come up with a card design and then repeat that card design on um, using the other colors. 
All right. Okay. So I have something else that I want to create with you again, or this morning. So this is going to be, this is a little, um, I like to call them little love notes. So this was one of the make and takes that I did at my recent catalog launch. And it kind of showcases the, the in colors with little strips. So this is a great idea to do. You could do it in any color um, using your scraps of cardstock. So this little card, I'm gonna make an envelope to go with it and we're gonna make an envelope today. And it says inside, big ways, small ways, love you always. So my daughter is planning a trip. She's going to Phoenix with her boyfriend and family, which is a huge step. <laughs> um, not next week, but the week after. And so when my kids go away and I'm not with them, or if I'm going away and they're not with me, I always either leave behind or include in their suitcase um, kind of like a little treat, just a little reminder that, you know, I love them and that I'm thinking of them. So I'll probably include a little Starbucks gift card in there with for her to use while she's there. Um, and I'll tuck it in her suitcase when she doesn't when she doesn't know that I'm I'm doing that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm starting with a three inch by six inch piece of, oh, thanks, Shara. Thanks, Dawn. Um, a three inch by six inch piece of white cardstock and it's scored at three inches. So my little love, love notes, like I said, I like to call them, are three by three cards. And then I've got all these little strips. So I had lots left over, as you can see from my launch. I just cut one quarter inch strips and they're varying lengths. So as long as they're four inches, then I knew that they would, at least four inches, I knew that they would kind of fit across diagonally. And because I'm a little bit obsessive, I am going to go in rainbow order, but I think we'll do it in revert or in go from red to blue instead of blue to red like I did on the sample. And I just realized I forgot to bring my Tombow, which would be the best adhesive for this. So we will do mini glue dots instead. Let's see here. This will be a little bit less messy. Oh, and I put my glue dot in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go across like this. Oh, that one didn't peel off. Let's do this. Okay, so I've got my red, my orange next, and I'll put a little bit of a space in between do one glue dot and then I'll pick the second one off with my paper piercer is great for strategically placing these little mini glue dots all right and then yellow So remember by commenting and sharing this video, you guys get entered into winning a set of handmade cards. So feel free to comment as many times, ask questions, share the video with your friends and family. Um, I love to share paper crafting. So, um, and getting my name out is a great way to be able to do that. Okay, and then we've got some green. And this is uh, super appropriate with um, Pride Weekend here as well with the whole rainbow. Okay, another glue dot there. This would be much faster with Tombow, I think. Okay, and then the last one we've got is the blueberry bushel. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my scissors and snip off the ends. I like them to make them cut them longer so that I know that they will fit just right. I'd hate to cut it and have it be just a bit too short. 
Oh, I guess I cut part of my card here. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, and then I've gone ahead and I've pre-stamped another thank you. So I'm just going to use some dimensionals and pop that up. Dawn says she loves to challenge herself to use as many as much scraps as she can. Mostly fun, but sometimes a big challenge. I agree. I it feels so good to use things up and not waste. I completely agree with you, Dawn. So there we go. So there are the two cards. So one says hello and one thank you. But now let's make a cute little envelope. We do sell envelopes for three by three cards. So I could use just a plain white one, but why when you can make a cute matching one? All right, so this is our envelope punch board for those of you who may not be familiar with it. And there are a ton of different sized envelopes that you can make. So what you do is you you determine your card size. So my card size is, is three by three. So you look at the, all the different card sizes until you find your card size. So mine is three by three, and then it gives you the paper size. So the paper size is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So that's what I need to cut this into is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna pull in my paper cutter and cut it down. All right, so those scraps will go in my package so that I can use them for a different project. And then what it tells you is the score line. So it's two and five eighths. And there's this handy little spot for a bone folder. So it comes with a bone folder. And so what you do is the ruler is on this side. So you're gonna line up the edge of your cardstock with the two and five eighths inch mark, okay? And then there is this groove here. And this is where we're going to score. So let me line it up with two and five eighths. And I'm just going to line it up right, let's see if you guys can see. So right up against this little lip right here. And you can feel that it's in the groove. So I'm gonna score and then I'm gonna punch. And what you wanna remember is you wanna remember that you measure once. So if you're just doing a plain envelope, you measure once. There are different things that you can do with this envelope punch board as well, and sometimes you use the ruler more than once. But when you're just using it to create an envelope, you only look at the ruler once, okay? So we've got that initial score line. Now what we're gonna do is rotate it a quarter of a turn, and we're gonna line that score line up with this little nubby thing. And we're gonna score and punch. And we're just gonna do that on all the rest of the side. Okay, so I've got that. And now the other great thing is on this side, there is a corner rounder. So I'm gonna slide that in and just punch that and it rounds the corners for me. It just cleans it up just a little bit. And now we've got the template for our envelope. So we can set that aside. Now I need to decide, well, I, should, I probably should have decided before I scored it, but I actually like, really like this pattern. So I am going to score it so, or fold it so that that pattern is out. And I'll just use my bone folder. And I'm not gonna do it really hard. I just, I want it to be nice and crisp, but I don't wanna break the fibers. So I'm just doing it gently. And Dawn says, I need that tool. <laughs> it is a great tool. I use it often. All right, so now we need a little bit of adhesive. So I'm going to fold in my side flap, put a little bit of adhesive here, fold that in, and then a little bit of adhesive down here, and fold it up. Making envelopes is a great way to use up your patterned paper as well. All right, so now I have got a little matching envelope for my card and I can just use a little mini glue dot to stick that in. Isn't that cute? So fun. All right, 
Oh, uh, there's a couple other things I wanted to share with you before I go. Okay, so let's see here. So I shared with you the card, the uh, this guy, in all the different colors. But I wanted to share another one I created in all of the different in colors. So this one uses... Oh, and I should have written down the names because I don't remember the names. The beautiful new floral embossing folder. The, I think it's a dynamic embossing folder. Um, and <laughs> stitched, here, my catalog is right here. I'll look it up for you. Stitched. Mm, can't remember. That's the thing when everything is so new and there's so much of it. It's hard to remember the names. Let's see. Here we go, stitched all around. So I used the stamp set. I love this, oh darling, you are fabulous. And even it's enjoy your special day. Like so many great greetings in this. And then it's got some beautiful framelits that coordinate with it as well. So I just used the, um, the stamp set for this one. So there it is in Pineapple Punch. And then in Grapefruit Grove. And Blueberry Bushel. And then Call Me Clover. And then Lovely Lipstick. So see how beautiful it looks? The same card, but it looks so different in each of the colors. I love it. Um, was there anything else that I wanted to show you? I think that was it. Oh, no, there was one other thing. So remember I said I had all these extra little pieces left over from my catalog launch? because I always overcut. I'd hate for somebody to come and I didn't have enough for them. So I created this little card. It's not my favorite card, but I wanted to share with you. So I really wanted to use those strips. So I added that, but wanted to make a full card. Um, so again, I used the same supplies. I just added an embossed piece in there and used some ribbon and created that cute little card. So I've got lots of thank you cards to last me through the month. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, make sure, like I said, you wanna get your name entered in to win that set of cards. Um, so comment and share. And you know what? I plan on doing these on a regular basis. I'm not gonna to commit to every single Friday. I am doing that in June, but in July I'm away for a couple. So, but I plan to make this a regular thing. So if you guys have ideas or maybe a product that you would like me to see like like to see used or a stamp set that you're having a hard time with or um, a technique that you want to learn anything at all if you have suggestions on what I can do a live a Facebook live on that would be great all right so thanks for watching remember if you are looking for a supply list be sure to visit my blog and if you place an order in my online store um, for $50 or more, I will send you, using this hostess code, I will send you a little gift along with your thank you card. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye guys, have a great day.